1984, in British music. This is a summary of 1984 in music in the United Kingdom, including the official charts from that year. Summary 1984 was a year of several huge selling releases, including at the time the biggest selling single ever. Six singles this year sold over a million copies, the joint highest number ever along with 1998. Out of the top ten biggest selling songs of the 1980s, six of them all peaked in 1984 including the entire top four. One of the biggest bands of the year was Frankie Goes to Hollywood, a five-piece from Liverpool fronted by Holly Johnson. Their debut single Relax was banned by the BBC for sexually suggestive content and was number one for five weeks. Their second single, Two Tribes, referenced the ongoing Cold War and featured a music video of lookalikes of American President Ronald Reagan and Soviet leader Konstantin Chernenko violently fighting, and was number one for nine weeks in the summer, both songs selling over a million. In November, they made chart history when their third single, The Power of Love, also made number one. They were only the second band in chart history to have their first three releases all go to number one, following Jerry and the Pacemakers 20 years earlier, however it would be their last. Their album Welcome to the Pleasure at Home also reached number one. Wham! had their first number one single this year after four earlier top ten hits, the upbeat Wake Me Up Before You Go Go. This would soon be followed by their second, Freedom Later in the Year, and their second album, Make It Big, also reached the top. One of the members of the band, George Michael, also released a solo single this year, the ballad Careless Whisper, co-written by his bandmate Andrew Rigelli. It was number one for three weeks and sold over a million. A big-selling singer who would go on to have many hits over the next two decades, her debut hit Holiday reached number six, and Like a Virgin charted three places higher at number three. From the same country came Prince, who had his first two top ten hits with When Doves Cry and Purple Rain. For both artists, 1985 would bring even more hits as would the rest of the decade. After 18 years, Stevie Wonder achieved his first solo number one single with I Just Called to Say I Love You from the soundtrack of the film The Woman in Red. He had first charted at the age of 15 with Uptight Everything's All Right in 1966 and had previously had a number one in 1982 with a duet with Paul McCartney, Ebony, and Ivory. In 1984, his harmonica playing featured in Chaka Khan's number one hit, I Feel For You, and in 1985, Eurythmics' number one hit, There Must Be an Angel Playing With My Heart. The Christmas number one single featured more than 40 artists. Do They Know It's Christmas? Written by Bob Geldof and Majura was made in response to ongoing famine in Ethiopia, so the supergroup band Aid was formed to sing a charity record about it, all proceeds from the song going to the charity to raise money for help. Popular acts of the day such as Wham, Atwo, Spandau Ballet, Duran Duran and Boy George sung on the record. Not only did the song become the Christmas number one, it sold over three million copies and became the biggest selling single of all time, a record that held for the next 13 years. The song at number two, Wham's Last Christmas, sold over a million and proceeds from that also went to the charity. Further Band Aid singles would be released in 1989 Band Aid Roman II and 2004 Band Aid 20 both also Christmas number one. Events 9. January 1st Complete Performance of Oliver Nusson's Where the Wild Things Are by Glinda Bourne Turing Opera at the National Theatre. 11. January BBC Radio 1 DJ Mike Reed announces on air that he will not play the single Relax by Frankie Goes to Hollywood because of its suggestive lyrics. The BBC places a total ban on the record at about the same time. 21 January Relax reaches number one in the UK singles chart. Despite the BBC ban, it will spend a total of 42 weeks in the top 40. 14 February Elton John marries studio engineer Renee Law. On March Sting plays his last concerts with the police at the end of the Synchronicity Tour. The band takes a pause after the tour 
and only play a few special events together after this, until 2007, when they would organize a reunion tour. One may make Fleetwood files for bankruptcy in the United States. 5 August Now 3 becomes the 300th album to reach number 1 on the UK Albums Chart. 23 October A report on the Ethiopian famine by BBC journalist Michael Buick is broadcast in the UK and receives an unprecedented public response. Among those watching is Bob Geldof, who is inspired to release a charity record. 25 November The Band Aid single Do They Know It's Christmas is recorded at Sarm Studios in Notting Hill, London, by a gathering of performers that includes Paul Young, Simon Le Bon Bono, Phil Collins, Paul Weller, Sting Boy George, and Tony Hadley. 28 November, the Bring Me Sunshine charity concert at the London Palladium, in memory of Eric Morecambe, includes musical performances by Kenny Ball and his jazzmen, Des O'Connor and Ernie Wise. 2 December Frankie Goes to Hollywood become the first act to take their first three singles to the UK hash one position since Jerry and the Pacemakers in 1963, when the power of love tops the chart. 3 December Bob Geldof and Band Aid release the single Do They Know It's Christmas, which becomes the fastest selling single of all time in the UK. 11 December While on tour, Bucks Fizz's tour bus crashes. All members of the group are injured, and member Mike Nolan suffers brain damage after falling into a coma. 13 December, George Harrison makes a rare public appearance, joining Deep Purple on stage in Sydney, Australia, for their encore rendition of Lucil. Charts Number one singles Singles Number one albums Year in charts Best-selling singles Best selling albums. Notes. Sis. Classical music. New works. Jonathan Harvey Come. Holy Ghosts. 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 Alun Hadanat String Quartet No. 2, Op. 113, Robin Holloway Viola Concerto, Op. 56, Elizabeth Maconchi String Quartet No. 13, Quartetto Corto, Musical Theater, Mike Bat The Hunting of the Snark given its first performance in the Barbican with the composer conducting the London Symphony Orchestra, Howard Goodall The Hired Man, Musical Films, Give my regards to Broad Street with Paul McCartney. McCartney. Births. 17 January Calvin Harris, singer songwriter, record producer, DJ, 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 Singer CSS. 27 March Laura Critchley, singer songwriter. 22 April Emil Baraba. 4 May Victoria Hesketh Little Boots, singer songwriter, musician, DJ, DJ, DJ. 10 May Christina Miles, singer songwriter and pianist. 14 May Ali Murs, singer songwriter. Singer songwriter, songwriter. 23 June Duffy. Singer Twelve July Gareth Gates, singer. Singers, 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 singers. 23 July Matthew Murphy, singer and guitarist The Wombats. 16 September Katie Melua, singer and musician. 
22 September Ross Jarman, musician The Cribs. 26 September Keisha Buchanan, singer Suga Babes. 16 October Shane Ward, singer. 27 October Kelly Osborne, singer and TV personality. 25 December Jessica Origlieso and Lisa Origlieso singers The Veronicas. Veronicas is Veronicas is Veronicas is Veronicas is. Deaths. On January, Alexis Corner, blues musician, 55 lung cancers. Lung cancers or lung cancers. Lung cancers or lung cancers. Lung cancers. Lung cancers. Lung cancers or lung cancers. Lung cancers or lung. Cancers or lung cancers or lung cancers. Lung cancers. Lung cancers. Lung cancers. 10 January, Vinnie Hale, actress and singer, 84. 26 January Graham Clifford, singer and actor, 78. 3 March Kathleen Richards, musicologist, pianist and composer, 88. 9 March Imogen Halst, conductor and composer, 76. 6 April Jimmy Kennedy, Irish-born British songwriter, 81. 8 June Gordon Jacob, composer, 89. 89. 21 June Webster Booth, tenor, 82. 22 June Dill Jones, jazz pianist, 60 to 60. July Gervais Hughes, composer, 78. 14 August Peter Wishart, composer, 63. 3 September Dora Labatt, operatic soprano, 86. 25 October Stanford Robinson, conductor and composer, 80. 5 November Jesse Furs, Pianist and composer, 81. Date unknown, Arthur Fear. Operatic bass baritone. Music Awards. Brit Awards. 1984, Brit Awards winners were Best British Producer, Steve Levine. Best Classical Recording, Kiri T. Kano, Songs of the Overknee. Overknee, Overknee. Overknee, Overknee, Overknee. Best International Artist, Michael Jackson. British Breakthrough Act, Paul Young. Paul Young. Paul Young. 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 British Female Solo Artist, Annie Lennox. 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 British Group, Culture Club. 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 British male solo artist David Bowie, David Bowie, David Bowie. Best selling single, Culture Club Karma Chameleon. Outstanding contribution, George Martin. The Sony Award for Technical Excellence, Spandau Ballet.